Hello, I'm Hannah Howard, a research analyst focused on media here at Gabelli Funds. Today I will be discussing the music industry and highlight two names in particular that we continue to like longer term, Universal Music Group and Warner Music Group. As I've discussed on this channel previously, the quality of the music business has improved significantly in recent years as advances in technology and evolving cons consumer consumption trends have led to the rise of streaming, which has accelerated the shift from one-time lumpy sales of physical products to a recurring subscription-based model. And the sector continues to benefit from the rise in digital consumption of music and music-based entertainment. The global music industry reached nearly $35 billion in net revenues in 2022, up from roughly $33 billion in 2021. Music remains one of the most under-monetized forms of entertainment today, and consumer spend on music is expected to remain resilient despite conditions in the macro environment. We see additional runway ahead for subscription or paid streaming driven primarily by increased penetration and subscriber growth with upside from further streaming platform or DSP price increases. While paid music streaming has reached 500 plus million subscribers globally, penetration remains below what the Nordics have reached, even in the most developed markets. Music companies will also benefit from any additional platform price increases moving forward. Round one of price rises last year by all the major platforms should support 2024 growth and we anticipate the next round of price increases to drive further upside from here. Additionally, in the coming months, we expect all major DSPs to adopt an artist-centric approach, which should help drive a further re-rating as the rights owners negate potential AI risks with differential stream pricing, offsetting, and even reversing headwinds from stream share erosion. We also anticipate labels and DSPs to work increasingly closely to drive product innovation and better integrate live events, ticketing, merchandise, and physical, which should together drive increased fan spending, DSP revenues, and royalties to rights holders. On the emerging streaming platform side, UMG recently pulled its content from TikTok after failing to reach a new licensing agreement after their current deal expired. In our view, this was the right move by UMG, as we believe TikTok has been free riding on rights holders, artists, and songwriters for some time. The financial impact to UMG at this time is small, estimated at around 100 million in euros of revenue and roughly 55 million of profit. We expect a deal will ultimately be reached and believe UMG's move is likely to force TikTok and other emerging streaming platforms to agree to better terms, benefiting both the company and the industry longer term. Lastly, while ad-supported streaming has unsurprisingly remained softer in light of the current macro trends, they appear to be improving modestly. So despite the current macro headwinds, we anticipate healthy growth from both paid and ad-supported streaming longer term and expect new and emerging platform deals will be incremental as monetization steps up with renewals over the next several years. Considering all of these factors, our long-term outlook for the global music industry remains intact from where we sit today. Thank you.